What's up everybody? Welcome back. Moving on to another question. We have to find the points on y equals 6x over x minus 3 where the tangent is perpendicular to the line 2x minus 9y minus 3 equals 0. So this function here we can graph. It's a linear over a linear. So if you remember from advanced functions what the steps are. First we find the horizontal asymptote which is going to be the ratio of the leading coefficient. So 6 over 1. That is a y value of 6 right here. There's going to be a vertical asymptote at an x value of 3. So that's going to be like here. To find the y-intercept, we could plug in 0 for x. We'll have 0 over negative 3, which is just 0. So we know this function is going to go through the origin like that. So. looks something like this. And what we have to do is we have to find the points on this function where the tangent at that point or at those points is going to be perpendicular to the line 2x minus 9y minus 3 equals 0. So let's take this line here 2x minus 9y minus 3 equals 0. And let's get it into y equals mx plus b form. So bring the 9y over. We'll have 2x minus 3 equals 9y. Divide everything by 9. The 9s cancel out here. So we'll have y equals 2 over 9x minus 3 over 9, which is just 1 over 3. So we know that this line here has a slope of 2 over 9. And we need to find the points where the tangent line is perpendicular to this line, meaning the slopes of the tangents are going to be the negative reciprocal of this slope. So the negative reciprocal is negative 9 over 2. So we have to find the points on this function where the slope is negative 9 over 2, where the tangent slope is negative 9 over 2. So let's say that may be this point here. And then let's say this point. Let's just assume that there's two points for now. So we got to find this point, x1, y1. And this point here, let's label it x2, y2, where the slope of that tangent is going to be negative 9 over 2. Question is, how do we find those exact points? Well, what we can do is we can find the derivative of this function, and then we can find when does the derivative of that function equal negative 9 over 2, at what x values. And that will give us the x values of those points right there. So to find the derivative, what we do is we apply the quotient rule on this. So the derivative of the top is just 6 times the bottom minus the top function left as is times the derivative of the bottom function, which is just 1, all over x minus 3 squared. Distribute the 6 inside the bracket, so we'll have 6x minus 18 minus 6x. The 6x's will cancel out. So the derivative will just be negative 18 over x minus 3 squared. That's the derivative of this function. And this derivative will give us the slope of the tangent at any x value that we plug in. However, we're trying to find the x values where the slope of the tangent is going to be negative 9 over 2. So to solve for those x values, you can just cross multiply at this point. 2 times negative 18, negative 36, then negative 9 times this whole expression, x minus 3 squared. And then what we can do is we can divide both sides by negative 9. So we'll have 4 equals x minus 3 squared. And at this point, what we can do is we can square root both sides. So we'll have x minus 3 on the right side equals plus or minus 2 on the left side. The square root of 4 is plus or minus 2. So we're going to have two cases. When does positive 2 
equal x minus 3? And when does negative 2 equal x minus 3? Well, if we solve this, we'll get an x value of 5. If we solve this, we'll get an x value of 1. So the slope of the tangent on this function is going to be negative 9 over 2 at these two x values. So it's going to happen here. Let me erase this uh, general coordinate. It's going to happen at an x value of 1. And here it's going to happen at an x value of 5. And then to find the y values, all we have to do is we have to take those x values, plug it into the original equation. So if we plug in 1 into here, we'll have 6 times 1 over negative 2, right? 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So 6 divided by negative 2 gives us um, negative 3, right? 6 times 1, 1 minus 3, yeah. So 1 and negative 3 is one of the points. Let me write that a little bigger so you see it. And then the other point is going to be 5. And if we plug in 5 into the x value for the function, 6 times 5 is 30. 5 minus 3 is 2. 30 over 2 gives us 15. So those are our two answers, 5 and 15, 1 and negative 3. So what we did was we first took the line, found what the slope was. The slope of the line was 2 over 9. Since we're finding where the tangent is perpendicular to that line, we have to use the negative reciprocal slope, negative 9 over 2. If they were asking us where is the tangent parallel to this line, then we would just use 2 over 9 at this point or at this point. But since they're asking us where is it perpendicular, we have to take the negative reciprocal of that line, negative 9 over 2. And then we just take negative 9 over 2 make it equal to the derivative. So we find the derivative using the quotient rule, make it equal to negative 9 over 2, cross multiply, solve for x. Two cases when we did the square root here, don't forget that, plus or minus. And you got these two x values. And then to get the corresponding y values, just take those x values, plug them into the function and you get your points.